Indeed, I tell you what, before you go to work, gather around, put that coffee cup down and listen to the sound of Alice Phoebe Lou. Here she is with Red. I think you've just got like 100,000 new fans out there watching right now. Beautiful, red. Okay, let's talk about that song. What is that all about? Ooh. Well, it's about, I, I find that often we, we, we're creatures of habit and yeah. we, we often get into routines and cycles and we stick with what we know and we stick with doing what we've done as opposed to trying to find new experiences, um, which is when we really learn the most, is when you get out of your comfort zone and you, wow. you try new things. And, and it's about someone who's kind of been misled and, and just stuck with the mundane as opposed to trying to find something new. Wow, I'll take you to the red sky if you just stop asking why. Love those lyrics. Okay. Thank so, wait, how did this whole thing happen with you uh, being invited to perform at TEDx Berlin and then it just blew up from there? Yeah, so, I mean, what's been amazing is that since I've taken street music to the next level and I have an amplifier and I, I play to now crowds of up to 200 people in wow. markets and, and stuff like that, a lot of the great opportunities that have come my way is just someone that's seen me playing on the street yeah. and has invited me to somewhere. So basically someone in the TEDx um, office saw me playing on the street. They wanted to have someone to perform at the end of their talks. Yeah. And 
she suggested me, and that's how it happened. We're checking out the video right now, over 200,000 hits on YouTube right now. But what I'm excited about is what, where you're moving to, yourself and Matteo, uh, are starting a brand new project next week, Monday, you were saying, yes. right? This is the recording of what's going to be your album. Exactly. So I released an EP last year, self-released, um, and I was selling hard copies on the street, and it went really, really well. It's really hard to sell CDs these days as an artist, but somehow the, the contact of yeah. being there and people wanting to support really worked and um, right now the way that we're funding this new album that we're starting to record on Monday in, in Popsicle Studios which yep. is a studio of a friend of mine in Woodstock yep. um, the way we're funding it is by selling copies of of the live album which we recorded in Berlin mm -hmm. at our last concert in Berlin in November yep. and so it's a 12 track live album professionally recorded and you can find it at alicephoebelou.com mm -hmm. and it, just by buying that album all, all the support goes to independently releasing my new one. Well you definitely so. have one sale over here and you, you've said no to big time record labels why? Well, the thing is that sometimes I, f I feel as though they have a lot of control over your image, over your branding, mm -hmm. and also over your creative output, and they can have a lot of command in telling you what you can and cannot do. Okay. And at this point, I'm trying to trying to keep it independent, and even if that doesn't optimize sales and make me the biggest profit, I think it will be it'll stay true to my to what I believe in and my integrity. So. That's what I want to do right wow. now. And all of that dream started in Komiki. I love it. Listen, <laughs> like I said, one sale you definitely have. But thank, thank you very, you. very much. I thank hope you that so you enjoyed much. it. Check out Expresso Morning Show, SABC3, our Facebook page, for more details on where you can find Alice Fibili. Mateo, thank you to you. And good luck on Monday. Yes. Let's <laughs> find out right now what's happening in the rest of the show. Ilana. Pow.